<laughs> I'm not going to sleep well tonight anymore. <laughs> well, what do you think we should do now? What should these people do? I think, you know, one of the things I always say is the main sort of fundamental underpinning of Roots and Shoots is that every single one of us makes some impact on the planet every single day. And some people make huge impacts, you know, people are CEOs of huge corporations, uh, people in power in government can make a difference by signing a check or something like that. Um, and I, I think this, this community, uh, using all this GIS and so on, is making a huge difference every day, but just an ordinary person. Yes. You know, the choices we make, what do we buy, what do we eat, what do we wear, where did it come from, um, uh, how many miles has it traveled, did it harm the environment, was it cruel to animals, is it cheap because of child slave labor? And all of this is interconnected. And it may seem, I think a lot of people, they understand the problems, but they do nothing because they feel helpless. Yes. And you know the saying, think globally and locally, it's the wrong way around, because if you think globally, you're so depressed. <laughs> you don't want to do anything. But if you say, here in my little community, I can clean up this stream if I get people to help me. And I can do community action like the car. Exactly. Right. I mean, it's not about doing it in Gambi. Yes, it is about doing it in Gambi, but it's about doing it in Redlands. Right doing now. it in Redlands, doing it in London, doing it in Ireland. Just doing your bit and then knowing that millions of other people doing their bit is going to make a huge difference. And it's also about participating in science. Last year, Ed, you mentioned that you wanted to re 